What happens, you may ask, when the citizen who is pulled over by a police officer starts to yell at and berate the police officer? Well, we're going to watch this video. We're going to find out. We're going to do an analysis. Sadly, this one doesn't end in a uh, window smashing as you would expect, uh, but it's still entertaining from uh, our standpoint, our perspective. And I want to ask you, do you believe that this guy is a sovereign citizen or not? And I'm going to drop you a couple hints as to why I believe he may be, and also a couple hints as to why I believe he may not be. So thank you for tuning in. If you like my content, like, subscribe, comment, and share. Also, I wrote the book on sovereign citizens. It's right behind me. You can buy it on Amazon. The link is in the description below. Before we watch this video, raise your cup, your glass in the air. It tastes better when we we sip together. I know I've been on a hiatus. I've just been extremely busy, but I'm coming back strong. Cheers with me. Sip together. Talking to me like that, sir, or you can have a sip of I just wanted to know why you stopped me and you're talking over me and you are. I let you know and I'm waiting for your license. And I'm getting it as fast as I can, sir, and you will stop talking. Hey, Let's go. Let's you, you are a civil servant. I am not. You are supposed to rise above this crap. I, you know I don't exactly need the attitude after a bunch of mouth. I, I asked you, I have the I right have to know. Right? You will slow your roll with me, sir, and you will approach me with a better attitude, or you can just walk away and I get a supervisor you. here. Approach, You're giving me an attitude when you approach my car. I asked you, like you to tell me. I can get you a supervisor. I just want you, I want you to slow your roll with me and not talk to me like I'm beneath you. I want you to stop talking to me that way. You will respect me as a human being. Do you understand me? I have respected you. No, you haven't. I asked you why you stopped me and said, what's the problem? And I will move as fast as I would like. Thank you. You're not going to bully me, guy. A badge don't scare me. You. Yeah. You. Not, Do not, you hear not your all. tone? Not at Do all. you hear your tone? I'm supposed to be at work right now, I and you want to mess around. That's right, you don't, because you're giving me an attitude. I got attitude from you before I even stepped I said, is it? I said, what's I the problem, the officer? Window. What's with the light? Turn the light off. I need your yeah, license. Right because now. you're breaking the law. Those are emergency lights, sir. Are you indicating an emergency right now? I'm no, you are not. Yeah, that's right. An investigation, not an emergency. So shut the fucking lights off. Here's your registration, insurance, and proof of fuck. So where are you headed tonight, huh? I work right here. I'm at my job. Question. You. A very simple question. Yeah. Slow your tone it's with me, and then you'll get a better question. one. Start talking to me like not a human being, funny. and you'll get it. You've gotten the information you need. I'm not doing very good, officer. The gentleman comes up to my car. I said, what's the problem, officer? He shines a spotlight in my face, and I understand that's for his protection. I asked him to turn the light off because he was blinding me. And then I said, what's, what seems to be the problem, officer? And he wants to raise his voice to me and tell me license and registration. I said, that would be fine, sir, as soon as you tell me what I've done. The law states constitutionally that unless you think I've committed a crime or, or about to commit a crime, I don't even have to, I don't have to give you my ID. But I will give it to you. I just want to know why I'm stopped. That's it, because I'm at my job on private property. And, I, and so I can't, I can't imagine why there's a cop behind me at my job in on private property stopping me because he says my, my exhaust is loud. Okay? I, uh, speak and I apologize. I apologize for raising my voice to you. Typically, when we stop cars, mm -hmm. we don't know that you're going to work. Yes, sir. We I understand that. You work for Ethica Times or wherever. Pantry, yes, sir. You guys, you guys this, is, this I am aware um, of. As far as probable cause for the stop, we had, when you sign your DMV stuff, you have to issue your license because you have to carry it with you when you're operating. Only if I'm committing a crime, sir. Constitutionally, constitutionally, the federal law overrides county, state, and city and every time. To make, a, make an arrest with that probable cause. And mind you, you may not be committing a crime. You, you have committed a traffic offense, which is a lot of money. A violation which is covered under the color of law, not real law. You still have to provide your license. Yeah, yes, sir. But I also have a right to know when a cop walks up to my car why I'm being stopped, correct? But normally we don't we don't inform you what you're being stopped for until we know who we're talking about. Well, that makes me feel unsafe because the reason, the reason, I don't know why you're stopping me. The reason for that is is that there's been cases, not necessarily here in Ithaca. But just cases, in general. Cases in general where we tell you why you stop and they take off. Now right. we don't know who we have. Right. At least if we know who we're talking to. But see how you approach me? You're talking to me, kind. He was raising his voice and, 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 and you know, and I'm like, yo, dude. I you... understand your frustration. I am not a supervisor. I'm just here. Back Plus, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. You know what I mean? Like, really? And he asked me where I'm going. I told him I'm at work. You know what I mean? I'm here. I'm at work. Well, we don't know that. Right. We don't no, I tried to. He won't let me is, talk. Though, He's just like, do what I said. Do what I say. Do what I say. The thing is, though, with with a demeanor towards us or anybody else, mm -hmm. it's going to 
dictate if you're going to get a citation. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't care if you arrest me for a loud muffler. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a, it's a yeah, yeah. And that's and that's what I'm saying. Like he just, you know, for a muffler, he's approaching me angry. Right. You know what I mean? And if you're going to be angry, I can be angry right back. I mean, you know. You can do what I do. I just kill people with my kindness. Well, I was, I was trying to get my information out. And while I was doing that, I was asking. I mean, I don't see the harm in letting me, you know. Yeah, I can understand you're frustrated because you're yeah. trying to get, I mean, you guys work crappy hours. Yeah, and I'm late. <laughs> and now I'm even so later. Chris, you know what I mean? I know you didn't do anything. You just stay out of trouble. So, he's just going to run your stuff. I'm not sure what, if he's going to write you a ticket or not. Oh, I don't care. Um, just keep it cool with him. And then hopefully we can just end this with yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right. Yep. Thank you, sir. You too. See, now that's a nice cop right now. Oh, you recording the whole thing? That's what I'm saying to tell him. And you're like, shut up. Have your license and registration. Call yourself. Is that it? No, well, I'm, I'm just going to talk to you for a moment. Hold you over. For your loud muffler, all right? It doesn't have to be a crime for me to pull you over. It is a violation. It's loud. I heard it. Heard it inside my car, okay? I was more than happy to let you know. Okay. Right. What I'm saying to you is you approach my car with your voice raised already, okay? When I ask you, when I ask you why you stopped me, it's your job as an officer to tell me why I'm being stopped. I don't know that you're a real cop. Could you, could you got sirens on your car? That doesn't mean anything, okay. okay? So when I ask you why am I being stopped, it's a simple answer. I'm getting my license and registration. It's going to take a minute. Okay, I'm a human being. Yes, I have been pulled over before. And listen, I know my rights, and you do have to have a legitimate reason. Absolutely. To Absolutely. right, right. Just, just so you understand. Okay, a violation is not a crime. Okay, Correct. so I don't have to give you. It, it doesn't matter. I, I know. I know my rights. Okay, and I'm. I, I, I'm trying my best not to get an attitude. Okay, and given the situation across the country with police doing the things that they have done, mm -hmm. it makes people a bit nervous and a bit agitated when you when when you think that you're going to come up and you're going to command me around. You are an officer of the law, and you do deserve a certain amount of respect. I know you saw the badge. Okay, I, the deal is, I get what you do. Okay, mm -hmm. on the same hand, understand that I'm a human being, and I deserve to be treated with. A certain level of respect. Now, I'm not saying if I sit here and cuss you that you got to maintain a certain level of profession or professionalism. But I do say when you walk up to my car, you can say, good evening, sir. Um, the reason I'm stopping you is because your exhaust is kind of loud. And do you I'm, know how I approached you initially? Yeah. Oh, you okay. walked up to me and said license and registration. I said, what seems to be the problem, officer? Oh, and you right. said license and registration. I believe I yelled it. Well, okay, your tone, then you might you want to take a class on addressing people because Listen. you have sarcasm and you're short with your answers, okay? And that's, to me, seems unprofessional, okay? That's all I'm saying. I, I don't know if it is or not. I, who am I to say? All I'm saying to you is, is that I wanted to know why you stopped me. And that's a perfectly simple request to say, why are you stopping me? Just so you know, I was more than happy to tell you that. And by the way, it is against the law for you to have your red lights on while you're stopping somebody. That's why the cop cars are equipped with directionals in the back. Don't shake your head. They're called emergency okay, lights. Well, and if it is a law, okay. now, if I, if I, now listen, I work, if, if I was to put an emergency light in my car and drive down the road with it on, it's against the law right. because I'm indicating an emergency. Right. That's what red lights do, right. indicate well, an emergency. I'm to you and I'm letting you know that. I understand. The ticket for Thank the you very much. I appreciate that. Because it's not a huge deal. Just Thank you. Make sure you get it fixed. You know, there's nothing saying that you won't be stopped as soon as you leave here, all right? Okay. I understand that. Have a good night. Thank you. Let's begin with the clues from this guy uh, as to... Uh, that show that he may in fact be a sovereign citizen. So he said a couple of things here. Um, first, he said, oh, the officer, you're the one breaking the law. You're the one breaking the law. You had the emergency lights on. Da, 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 da. I actually don't know this exact rule. I've covered it in prior videos. He says, oh, if I put blue lights on, it's illegal. You are not an emergency responder, okay? And pulling someone over does create an emergency. The police can put those lights on in order to pull you over. Number one, that's a bit of a sovereign citizen move there. Number two, just his general attitude towards the police, okay? Saying that this officer was rude, saying that he's not being treated as a human being, all right? This is something that uh, sovereign citizens put out there all the time. I'm not saying, listen, I'm not saying officers shouldn't necessarily be nice, but his central complaint is that this police officer didn't have enough of a bedside manner for him. Oh, he walked up and asked for license and registration. Oh my Lord. I mean, praise be to God. How rude, how, how, how despicable. 
I, he asked you for your love. Wow, how rough is that? How about, he? maybe he's had a long day. You ever thought about that? All right, to come up and, and lay roses on your lap when you're the one who is potentially breaking the law? It doesn't work that way, all right? They're not there to be your friend, especially during a traffic stop. If you run into an officer in a donut shop, <laughs> if you run into an officer in a donut shop, have a word with them. It'll probably be polite. Buy them a cup of coffee. Chat with them, okay? But when he's pulling you over, they don't know what they're walking into. He's not going to, they don't have to be your best friend. You call that professional no, you, sir, are being unprofessional. The third clue, and perhaps the biggest clue, in my opinion, was when he claimed that he wasn't being pulled over, he was being pulled over under the color of law. He argued that the loud muffler was a violation, wasn't breaking the law, wasn't actually a crime. Well, they can still pull you over regardless, but that color of law language, that tips me off to sovereign citizens. So this guy... He just might be a sovereign citizen. Now, what says that he's not a sovereign citizen is he didn't pull out a lot of the usual stops at the sovereign citizens drop. Uh, right to travel, uh, police or a corporation, um, you know, uh, traffic laws or not laws, though he did kind of go there. But you know what I'm saying. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, I didn't commit a crime. There's no corpus delecti that the sovereign citizens will spit out. He didn't do that here, which uh, was interesting. So I don't know if this guy was a sovereign citizen or maybe he knew, he knew just enough to make him dangerous. And uh, he also at one point claimed that federal law usurps uh, all state and local law, which is true, even though he has no idea what he's talking about. He says there's some federal law and emergency lights. Dude, you don't know what you're talking about. I'm sorry. But my final word on this guy, sovereign citizen or not, is for him to blow up with that attitude, okay, they, I would have dropped them the ticket. What? Because he came up and said, license and registration? Okay, they're going to tell you what they pulled you over for. For you to drop the attitude like that, man, he's lucky it worked out the way he did. If I was that officer, I'd just walked away and dropped them the ticket and said, see you in court. Adios, buddy. You know what I mean? Have a nice night. Here's your ticket. See you in court. That's all. Then he can come in and he can argue about it, lose half a day, pay a fine, etc., etc. I mean, the police, they absorbed this BS from this guy and let him go. Wow. Wow. And, you know, wow. And people tell me to come, the, the police are, are jag -offs. Um, You know, these, these officers at the end of the day were really, really nice. And uh, I kind of wish that they hadn't been. So uh, <laughs> that's my opinion. I don't know if this guy was a sovereign citizen again. Maybe he knew just enough to be dangerous. But thank you for tuning into my show. I will be back. I'm going to try to make more videos, everyone. I've just been incredibly busy. Thanks for tuning in. Joe Pometto, Joe the Lawyer. Grab my book, Sovereign Citizens. It's in the description below. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. Peace.